It's a worst case scenario for the government in Jammu and Kashmir, rifle wielding militants openly addressing crowds in the state. With the police being ordered to show restraint after 50 civilian deaths in the last few weeks, the situation is progressively getting out of hand, with parts of the state seeming to descend into a state of anarchy. Militants with guns addressing public meetings in Arwani in South Kashmir, an unprecedented situation in Kashmir. For the government and security forces, this represents a worst-case scenario, a clear indicator of a complete breakdown in law and order. According to the CRPF, it's a very serious matter. I'm sure some steps have been taken to address it adequately. It's unfortunate, but things will change for good. More than 50 people have been killed in security forces firing and over 3,000 are injured during the last four weeks of unrest. The police, who have been ordered to show as much restraint as possible to avoid more civilian casualties, are clearly on the back foot. Unable to tackle the large crowds beyond a point, they have been forced to abandon their pickets at places after mobs attacked them. Here in Arwani, mobs have set a police station on fire, forcing police and a CRPF platoon deployed there to abandon their position. It is a situation Kashmir has never witnessed before, not even in 1990, when entire law and order machinery had collapsed because of massive public uprising. Now Pakistan-based Hizbul Mujahideen chief has asked militants to stay away from public gatherings and rallies, a statement that has thrown up more questions at this time of unrest in the valley. In Srinagar, Nazir Masoodi for NDTV.